joining us. Welcome to another Fast Tracks webinar. I am Carl Jordan. I'll be filling in this week for Derek. Today, we're going to be talking about digital signage, which mainly centers around this screen, the control center. You can find our control center by going to any browser, controlcenter.fasttrackspos.com. The benefit of the control center being browser-based, uh, the biggest benefit is that you can control your content from anywhere. This means that you can control what's going on with all of your devices across multiple locations from one centralized hub that you can log into whether you're at work, at home, or at one of the locations. When you first sign up with us, uh, we're going to send you an, a welcome email that tells you uh, your login and lets you set your own password. The welcome email will usually also include a getting started PDF guide that goes over some of the vocabulary and how to get your device connected. Also, with any of our new digital signage clients, we typically have about an hour of onboarding. So today is just going to be a refresher. and We want to try to stay under 30 minutes, so we're going to go pretty fast. If you need to see something again, feel free to download and watch this episode again from our website, goftx.com. Uh, or feel free to give us an email at support at fasttrackspos.com. This login uh, is currently set to mine, um, but uh, I have different permissions and access uh, from most general users. So we're going to go with my friend Eddie here at Fast Tracks. We're going to use his login, which logs us into the Fast Tracks POS account. With a normal user login, the first thing you see on your dashboard are going to be these two charts at the top right. One is a device status overview. Now, the benefit of this is you can tell at a glance if you have any devices that are not online. The way that our software works is a pull configuration, which means the devices periodically connect over the internet to the control center and check for updates. If they ever see an update that's newer than the last time it downloaded, it pulls the content down to the device and begins showing the new display. Uh, there are a couple of really strong benefits to this over a push configuration. One is that uh, PCI compliance is maintained because the device is not waiting for input from somewhere else. It's actually going out and, and looking and pulling the, the content itself. The other is if you are ever without power, if your device is uh, offline, well, without power is probably not going to have a TV, but if you have no internet, your device will continue displaying whatever the last thing it downloaded was. It will not stop working because you've lost internet connection. It'll simply not be able to update. The second chart is promotions ending in days. This has to do with the product uh, promotion schedule. Now, we'll get into that in a little bit. But basically, if you have scheduled an advertisement as a promotion with a specific duration, and that duration is coming to an end, uh, like say you have a sale that's going on through the end of the month and you are halfway through the month, you'll start seeing a bar with a number of promotions ending appear on this chart. And if you were to log in every day, you would see that bar moving to the left as it approaches zero days. That gives you an opportunity to go find uh, any gaps that you may be accidentally creating when that promotion ends and fill them in with what it should say, what it should show next on that promotional schedule. All right, I mentioned with the getting started guide that uh, there uh, is a, a glossary of some vocabulary that we use on our on our control center. And I want to start there. I feel like learning any new piece of software is just like learning a language. The most important parts are uh, to have a reference for those words and terms you can relate, and then using it, because using it over and over and over is the best, quickest way to become fluid. So I want you to feel comfortable coming in here, navigating around using the navigation navigation tree on the left, and just play with it. So for our, uh, some of our terms, that we want to make sure uh, 
you get up front. Each place where you can have devices is in your control center as a location. That's under settings, locations. When you first plug in your device, it's going to ask you to choose what location to associate that device to. And there are ways that you can restrict uh, advertisements to only be applicable to certain locations, things like that, that will give you more control over what can show up on your devices. The second thing it's going to ask you when you connect it is to choose a display. When we say display in our software, what we're talking about is the complete digital content package for a single television monitor. This can include multiple ads or promotions as a slideshow. It can include a product menu board, uh, a combination of ads and menus on a rotating schedule. Uh, you can even set different full screen content packages for different times of the day to do things like a breakfast menu, a lunch menu. There's plenty of stuff that goes into detail about all those options. So we're going to skim over that. Um, the display is assigned to a device, but a display can be assigned to multiple devices. So if you have a display that's perfect for a menu, for a deli counter, for example, and you want to put that on TVs that are over your deli in multiple locations, you can use one display and assign it to all of those devices. Any edits that you make to that display would then automatically update to all the devices using that display. We want to make this as simple as possible for you. So we want uh, any changes that you make here in Control Center to smoothly and intuitively update correctly. On the left under uh, Signage, we see Displays. Let's go ahead and start there. So this is a list of displays for this account. With any list in Control Center, there's a button at the top right called Add New. We're going to press the Add New button and create a new display for today's uh, demonstration. So today's display is going to be called Fun Demo. Any place that you can save something from Add New, you're going to see several options, including simply saving it, saving and closing, which will take you back to the list you were in, and save and new, uh, which is useful for stuff like creating several new advertisements in a row where you want to save this and then immediately be taken to another blank form to create another one. For this create display, we're going to simply hit save so that we stay in the display. Now we've saved this display called Fun Demo, and we have a new tab that shows up called Content. This is where you're going to spend most of your time. Content shows us the layout for the current board. The default layout is a tall, thin slideshow scheduler on the left that's showing, a, that's showing slides of our advertisements, and a square, static Ad Pro image on the right. Any place where we see open scheduler, that's talking about a slideshow. And any place that we see choose design, that's talking about an ad pro static image design. And when we say ad pro, to get back to the vocabulary, what we are talking about is uh, the Fast Tracks graphic design software that's built into this control center for fast editing and deployment of complete designs. Designs can be advertisements uh, by themselves with a product image and a price. They can be individual, um, individual products in a list. It can be a complete graphic menu board. So for example, if we click on Choose Design right now, the only design on this account for this size image, which is the 1145 by 1080, uh, looks like it's uh, like a grilled cheese sandwich menu with some soup and prices. Now, this is built just like in any other graphic design software out there, like Photoshop, Illustrator. It's built using layers from the ground up. Um, AdPro is actually a really powerful tool. Um, we're not going to have time to go into it today. So expect to see a lot of AdPro on the next webinar for digital signage. So let's talk about layouts again. Up here at board one, we can hit the little green button for change layout. And that's going to show us several other layout options. 
The first two are the style that we were talking about, where you have a slideshow and a static ad pro image. So anywhere that you see this portrait icon and a recycle symbol, that's talking about a product slideshow. And anywhere that you see blue, that is an ad pro design. So these first two are a slideshow and an ad pro uh, static image, or that same layout reversed. The next one is full screen ad pro, exactly like it sounds, and a full screen slider for a full screen promotional slideshow. These are probably our most popular, where you'll have a full screen ad pro image of, say, a breakfast menu, and then schedule it to go back to a full screen slideshow. These two on the far right, they use a slideshow in part of the screen and then ad pro static images in tile fashion to make up uh, what's going to sort of look like a menu board. And across the bottom, we have those same kind of layouts, but with numbered tiles. Any place in the layouts where you see these numbered tiles, those are going to let you set products from your product library, where you've uploaded your own products to your Control Center account, and then selected those products uh, in a very similar fashion to what you would see at a fast food restaurant. Um, for purposes of this demo, this account specifically has cigarette products. So if we go to choose product and choose one of our cigarettes, the software is smart enough to know, even if you have several different image sizes uploaded for this product, it chooses the one that it needs for this size tile. When we created this product in your product menu, you're also going to list two prices for it, a price one and a price two. In this case, for cigarettes, that's a pack price and a carton price. But you could also use things like a uh, sandwich price versus a combo or a deal price. Uh, you could do a special price and an old price. If you do something like that uh, to make it very obvious, we've added things like if we go to our price setting for price two, we can choose to add a strike through where it puts an X over our old price so that people can tell at a glance what a saving. You also have the option of putting full screen background images for the image on your uh, on your products. And if you do that, you can also hide the price so that you can have the price built into your your image that you're using in your product library or just have no price. Again, the product library uh, has a lot of options. It's a fairly robust tool as well. So we're probably going to get into this more in depth in a future webinar. Let's go back to layouts. So I had mentioned our most popular are probably full screen ad pro and full screen slider. Let's start with a full screen slideshow. If you'll notice the layout changed to one big square, that means a single image is going to fill our screen when we use this layout. Any place that you can put a picture in Control Center, you're going to see a little box that tells you exactly what size that image is. In this case, this image is going to be 1920 by 1080, which is full screen on a widescreen television or monitor. If we hit Open Scheduler, that takes us to our Promotional Scheduler tool. If you'll notice, uh, or the first thing you'll probably notice is that this is a timeline. And the red line represents today. We're on October 5th, near the beginning of October. If you were to come in here every few days, you would notice that this timeline slowly moves to the left and the red line remains on today. Each of these rows uh, represents a track for a specific promotion to show up on your timeline. Right now we have promotions one, two, and three. If you need to add more promotions, you can click the plus promotion button at the top and it will add additional rows as needed. This will support up to 20 promotions. So for promotion one, we're gonna hit the little green plus symbol and it brings up the add promotion tool. Let's choose that we want it to start today. And let's make this one that runs through the end of the month. The next step is choose advertisement. And I've specifically created 
um, some advertisements for or some advertisement images for October, but it looks like I have not uploaded them yet. So let's talk about how that works. We're going to cancel out of creating that promotion. And we're going to save our display with this new layout for the full screen advertisement. Anytime you're navigating away from your edit display, you want to make sure you hit save. We're going to pause from editing that display to go check out our advertisements library. On the left, we can navigate to signage advertisements, or since we're already in signage, we can actually just hit the advertisement tab at the top. This takes us to our library of advertisements. And since I don't see the one I want, I'm going to hit Add New. This takes us to create, create advertisements. And I want an advertisement for the month of October. I'm going to call it October Fest. And then I'm going to save. Now, you'll notice across the bottom, there are several tabs that have different numbers on them. These numbers represent different image sizes. When we were looking at our layout earlier, we saw that there was uh, a little number listed under the open scheduler that said 1920 by 1080. So we're going to go to that folder, and this gives us a tool for uploading an image that is already the right size for 1920 by 1080. So what this is going to allow you to do is contact your uh, marketing or merchandising people, uh, whoever creates promotional images for you, or if you're wanting to advertise something that is a promotion sponsored by one of your distributors or manufacturers, you can contact them and tell them exactly what size image you want to use, and they should be able to send you something that's exactly that image size. So in this case, I've created a 1920 by 1080 image that I want to use for Oktoberfest. I'm going to hit the little browse button down here, and I'm going to, I'm going to choose Oktoberfest wide from my product images. And there we have our Oktoberfest 1920 by 1080 full screen image. And now I can hit save. Um, one of the benefits of this layout style for saving advertisements is that we can save different images to each of these different folders. So let's go to 768 by 1080, which is that taller style advertisement slot, like what we saw in the default layout. I'm going to browse and I'm going to choose Oktoberfest tall. And that's going to put an image that's uh, 768 by 1080, that's this taller uh, resolution uh, into that spot on this advertisement. And I'm going to save that as well. That means I have one advertisement now called Oktoberfest. And if I'm using it as part of a slideshow, that is in the layout that uses this slim slideshow on the left or on the right, it can pull the correct size image. But if I'm using it on a full screen slideshow, 1920 by 1080, it can also pull an already uh, the correct size image from that same advertisement, which means I have less advertisements cluttering up my list by filling them with all the appropriate size images to use that advertisement, no matter which layout I choose. All right, now that that's saved, let's go back to displays. I have my fun demo display, which for some reason has a picture of a beer on the thumbnail. From the displays list, we can either click on the name of the display like I just did, or we can click on the thumbnail. Um, I think this is because uh, before we started this, I actually created another one called fun demo, and I think I had beer on it. <laughs> um, so I think it's referencing that from earlier. Anyway, if we go back to our edit display, we're in content, and it has saved where we chose this layout for a full screen slideshow. We're going to go into Open Scheduler. And on Promotion 1, we're going to hit the little green plus symbol to bring up our promotional scheduler tool. We're going to set a starting time of today. We're going to set an ending time for the end of October. We're going to choose advertisement. And now, among our media of this size, I have one for Oktoberfest. 
So I'm going to choose that to fit this spot for promotion one. All right, I think that covers just about everything. If you guys have any questions, again, you can feel free to email us. And we will go more in depth on things like AdPro and the product library in the next webinar on, on digital signage. Thank you very much for your time today. Hope everyone had fun. Have a good day.